All right, guys, here we are down at Golf Central tonight, and we have yeah. <laughs> something we've been waiting for, for since we've heard about oh. the MP18. So that's what they are. It has been the longest month. It really has. Ever. I'm pretty sure it's still a little bit, by the time the video's come out, it's still maybe a week or two or so away yeah, yeah. from release. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's September. Yeah, mid September. I think it's I, I think it's 14th of September, yeah, something along yeah. those lines. Anyway, yeah. uh, but that's in Australia anyway. Anyway, it's about September. Yeah. <laughs> MP18s. Now these are dead set as blade as a blade gets. Yeah. And as classy and as classic as a blade gets. So good. They look. Oh, just. <laughs> I'm lost for words too. So I, I use the MP5s. I use FG to a so, oh, FG 100s. So, so, yep, so effectively, we were both blade players. Yes. Yep. And, and I, I thought mine looked traditional. I know. Like these are holy as, smokes. As traditional as traditional gets. Like doing a little bit of a read up. Um, 1933 or thereabouts. Actually, no. I think Yoro uh, Master Craftsman started. Blah blah blah. There's a, so basically, this is a throwback to the old school blades. Yeah, and you can almost it, tell it is. Like a, I, from a yeah, I, I got no words to be honest. Really and truly, so good. nor do I. But made of 1025e, um, grain flow forged, but HD now. So the story is the patent runs out after 20 odd years, you know, or, okay. or, or whatever yep. it is. So they've had to change a process, and then they can kind of re-patent the HD version. And all right. that is is having a little bit more mass lower in the head. I believe something along those lines. So the way that they forge it and press it, there's a little bit more mass tending to be at the bottom here. Which I don't think it'd hurt, really, would it? No, it'd certainly help. No. But this is a blade of a blade, and it actually is not that scary to look at. No, in a six iron, let's say. Yeah, you know, to be honest, even the four iron, like for me, my, my four iron is tiny. Like it, it's stupid to even have it in a bag but <laughs> yeah it, this is still small but it's still just it looks it's just not quite as scary no and i agree like because the mp5s for me i got them because they were a little bit thicker in the top line compared to some other blades yeah um and they kind of just presented behind the ball a little bit more help yeah forgivable yeah forgivable yeah. like these are not that much smaller than than mine but they still certainly look like they're uh there's plenty of help so yeah um Basically, yeah. Mizuno, what they done is they basically gave a blank type blade to Turbo, yeah. the master craftsman uh, at Mizuno, who basically done all the Nick Faldo stuff. He then went to work on it and you know done his grinding and you know took took bits and pieces out of here and there. Yeah. And then if you watch the film, it's fantastic. Actually, it's it yeah. lines that touch yeah. the soul. It really, there it, it is. really yeah. is a good. It's a good hashtag and a good line, but. Then after the finished product was done, they put it into like a 3D model computer. Yeah. And then they made molds of that and then started to forge that shape. Yeah. So this has been blank, Master Craftsman, and then turned into this. It's not far from a blank. It is so clean. It is. It, it is. I'm sure you'll see it in the close-ups. Like, it is just... Look, it, wow. it's sexy like, as. Like, it, yeah. For, for me, the pitching wedge in the MP5, I don't like. My MP5, I don't like. Yeah. It's a little bit too bulbousy. It's it's all all the Mizuno stuff's quite high in the toe. Mm -hmm. Um but I feel the MP5 starts really early and it's kind of yeah. a bit more rounded even though it's high in the toe. Whereas that sits a little bit more like yeah. the 900 tour which I really like the look of. The, this almost looks like when you're buying your your other wedges like your your other set wedges like your Clevelands and or even the Mizunos yeah. that aren't part of the the iron set. This looks like one of those. I just, <laughs> I, I love them. Like I know. It's, it's, I'm it's, excited. So, look, do, do you want to hit some? Because you haven't hit any yet. I haven't hit any. I've only warmed up with mine. So. Yeah. So I, I've I've hit some. Um, I'm going to talk about my initial impressions and some numbers. And meanwhile, Kieran's going to hit. What, what do you want to hit? First? I'll hit the six. Do you want to hit the six yeah, line? Yeah. Well, I thought you were going to go four wide oh, first. <laughs> so have right. a bit of a hit, Let's but have a crack. It, it, in regards to feel, like I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Like it, it does feel different to the MP5 for some reason. Um, it's made of the same material. Maybe the process is a little bit different, and it does feel a smidgen different. I did say to Kieran, and hopefully it doesn't sway what you say. I think it feels firmer, but like almost more like absorbent. a more yeah vibration dampening. It's weird. It's a you know when you miss it, and that's what you're going to get, and you're going to get that in a blade. You you. When you miss hit it, it's gonna 
you're gonna know about it. It's that simple. Yeah, yeah. It's that simple. Um, but it still seemed like I wanted to move forward. But down by the ball, that's the impressive part. So first yeah. time, yeah. and it's on camera. Don't worry about it, mate. Come on. No, no. I was gonna say when it when it sits behind the ball, it just there's a lot of confidence there. Yes. Like you don't sit there and go, oh, this is a blade. I've got to hit it out of this dot of the sweet spot. Well, to tell you the truth, I probably wouldn't like to be teeing off a long par three and it's five degrees. Oh, I just suck. <laughs> I wouldn't like that. So, so as we can see that flight, I mean, again, a blade's a blade. Like Kieran uses blade and he understands that when you miss them, they're not going to do what they're meant to do. Yeah. Well, they are doing what they're meant to do. They're giving you instant feedback. Yeah. This one's a bit shorter and all that sort of stuff. Actually, yeah. I mean, spec-wise, we don't have it quite right for Kieran, but, you know, he, he'll hit one first and he'll... Uh, we'll get there. It is cold. So, it's a pretty cold night. We haven't really... Oh. So, that's a little bit of a cut. So, you hit that pretty good. Yeah, fairly good. <clears throat> Do you want to hit one more? Yeah, I'll hit one more. But four iron is not that scary. I mean, it's scary, but it's not stupid scary. Um, I, what, I, what I really like about Mizuno is they've got so many different shaft options, so many different grip options at no charge. That's the beauty of them. But this is just a classy piece of kit. That's, oh, now, Kieran the Hammer Hammery, come back to the camera and talk about your experience with <laughs> The MP18. Wow, well, my nipples are hard. I'm so good. <laughs> You're gonna get yeah. absolutely bounced by those again. Wow. Yeah. Talk yeah. about it. I'm gonna hit some. Just stuck over that side. Yeah, I'll move that side. Um, wow. Like you said before, the feedback is is good. Like it's not hard like a blade would usually be. Um, it is a little bit softer. Really good feeling, especially those those ones that you get out of the middle, like that one. <laughs> Actually, give but me yeah. the four on. Give me the four on. I was going to have a shot with that one in a minute too. Oh. But yeah, they just they feel different to that, a normal blade. That four on is scarier down by the ball than mine. Yeah, a bit smaller. But not by much. Yeah. Maybe a touch heavy, but man, that's moved. <laughs> that has gone really well. Oh, I haven't missed one yet. Actually, no, I hit, I hit one heavy when, when I was warming up, but thoughts, instantly, thoughts. Fantastic. I mean, I didn't hit my first few great. Yep. Um, uh, we did discuss that. My my irons are half an inch longer than these ones, so it just takes a little bit to, a couple of swings to get, get your eye in, but wow, those two that I hit at the end there, especially that last one, just, yeah. I've, <laughs> I, I can't, I, I don't just, I, I got nothing. It's it's actually, I, I didn't think I would actually go for the blades. Like, I actually thought about going for maybe the SC. Mm. Um, but after hitting these, I'm potentially going to go the blade. Numbers wise, basically the same as, as mine. Like, there's, yeah. there's no difference between the MP5s. They're the same loft, 30 degree 6 iron. It's going to be hard, I mean, when you go blade to blade. I mean, there is always technology that goes into these things. But, yep. I mean, there is... As you can tell, like, as you can see, there is <laughs> not much, not much there, not much space for much technology. So, but man, they feel good. Very impressive from a numbers point of view. If you're after hitting the ball long, um, blades are definitely not the way to go for oh, one. Oh no, absolutely not. They don't spring off the face quite as quick as maybe what the MMC might. And uh, yeah. check out that review, and you might see some ball speed difference in numbers. Yeah. Um, spins the same. It, it's identical to the MP5. It is just in a little bit more classy, classic sort of a blade. Yeah. Uh, oh, it just... Mizuno? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I want everybody in the comments to put hashtag <laughs> nothing feels like a Mizuno. Hashtag irons that touch the soul because when oh, you yeah. hit them, you'll, you'll understand. Like that, I am a Mizuno fanboy, as you know. I use the irons. I have been for, for quite a while now. Um, they've had another winner. It's that simple. Like, yeah. Well, I've, turned, I've gone from tail made to Wilson now. Well, I don't know. The Wilsons are in a bit of trouble sitting. Uh, Different sitting materials in used, and that's yeah, the thing. And that's yeah. well, these are Jap Japanese. Yeah, but see, 10, uh, 1025E is different than the steel used in yours. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yours a bit. Of, anyway, I'll, this is a Mizuno yeah. video, um, and the MP18 is just.
pure. Yeah, it's it's mint. Like, yeah. But buddy, a buddy, a toast with it, and then go out and have a hit. Oh yeah, like the the loft on this thing is. It, yeah, it looks like a. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> Kieran's dead, dead in the water. But guys, go check out the MP18 range. Yeah. So you've got the MP18, the blade, you've got the MP18 SC for split cavity, and the MMC for the multi-material cavity, yeah. uh, tungsten and titanium and stuff. So check those reviews out. Um, I'm lost for words, but like I said, hashtag irons that touch a soul. Yeah. Definitely. I'm going to go and give this a shot now, I think. Definitely have a bit of a hit with that. Yeah. We might do it on camera, off camera, but look, either way, you'll see Kieran hit some balls yeah. with this thing. Um, Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Like, share, subscribe, but more importantly, go check out the uh, MP18 range. Yeah, definitely. Find a, find a fitting day, find a test day, go and have a hit. You just, wow. You'd be mm -hmm. silly not to. Yeah, definitely. Guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Well, it does look good, doesn't it? It's a little tiny small, but it's not that bad. Oh. <laughs> I think he likes it.